dear students welcome back to bosco campus vision youtube channel of kottayam don bosco college this is the sixth lecture of communicative applications in english which is the open course offered by ba english language and literature in today's class we are discussing the topic varieties of english english is the most widely spoken language in the world having the distinct status of being the official language of multiple countries while the english language is uniform with major variations in spelling present between american english and british english the dialect or accent is usually the factor that enables one to distinguish the various types of english out there so let's check what are the different varieties of english used around the world in today's class we are discussing seven major types of english british english american english australian english canadian english indian english ugandan english and philippine english okay dear students now let's take the first variety of english that is british english british english is the english language as spoken and written in the united kingdom or more broadly we can say that throughout the british isles slight regional varieties exist in formal written english in the united kingdom so british english is the most accepted and popular english variety since indian higher education system uses standard british english we are learning british english spelling vocabulary grammar and pronunciation or rp or received pronunciation is widely accepted pronunciation of bbc so british we are actually learning british english spelling grammar vocabulary and also pronunciation so let's move on to the next type of english so next one is american english American English sometimes called United States English or US English which is a set of varieties of the English language native to the United States and widely adopted in Canada English is the most widely spoken language in the United States and is the most common language used by the federal government considered the de facto language of the country because of its widespread use English has been given official status by 32 of the 50 state government British English and American English have not much difference but still there are some vocabulary spelling and pronunciation in grammar American English is not much different from British English next is pronunciation of American English we have some rules first one is except in certain places the letter r is pronounced in all contexts in american english but whereas in british english it is not pronounced unless a vowel follows it for example the word with spelling c a r in american english it is pronounced as car but in british english it is pronounced as car r in the word final position is silenced in british english second rule is the americans pronounce words like class path laugh etc with a front vowel as in cat that is they use a sound instead of a okay third one is americans prefer a u sound instead of u in words like news duke etc for example british english it is pronounced as news and duke but in american english it is pronounced as news and duke okay fourth rule is the er combination is pronounced as a in british english it is pronounced as a in american english for example the word with spelling c l e r k in british english it is pronounced as clerk but in american english it is pronounced as clerk okay and the last one is nasalization of vowels is common in american english so these are the, the most common pronunciation difference we can see in, in american english when compared to british english in vocabulary also there are slight changes in american english when compared to british english for the british english word notice board american english word is bulletin board and for car american english variety is automobile for the word rubber american english variety is eraser for the word ground floor americans use first floor for lawyer americans use attorney for the word post mortem they use autopsy for ring up uh, american variety is call for season ticket american variety is commutation ticket and for petrol station americans use filling stations etc so there are some words in uh, in british english and american english so for the words in british english american has a different variety in spelling also we have some changes in american english when compared to british english so here in this table 
two columns are provided with uh, british english spelling and american english first word first word is color in british english the spelling is c o l o u r whereas in american english the spelling is c o l o r in british english for the word labor spelling is l a b o u r but whereas in american english l a b o r likewise in the words humor neighbor and weaker too another change is the change of the consonant c to s is another feature in the british english for example the word defense british english spelling is d e f e n c e whereas american english spelling is d e f e n s c -E. so the change of c to s another change is change of r e combination to e r for example the word center c e n t r e that is the british english spelling whereas uh, in american english the spelling is c e n t e r another change is in the place of double consonants in british english american english has only one consonant for example the word traveler what is the spelling of british english word traveler t r a v e double l e r but whereas in american english we have only one consonant the spelling is t r a v e l e r so these are the changes we can see in uh, american english when compared to british english next variety of english is australian english australian english is a major variety of english language that is used throughout australia although english has no official status in the constitution australian english is the country's national and de facto official language as it is the first language of the majority of the population the difference in vocabulary is a matter of additions from australian names and words from australian languages for example uh, the word kangaroo and boomerang these two words are coinages from australia to english Australian slang words are numerous but that is more difficult for others to understand in the case of australian pronunciation intonation is flatter than rp speech rhythms are slow stress is more evenly placed than rp the unstressed ending of es and ed are not pronounced as is or it as in british english but as z and d case of canadian english canadian english is a set of variations of english native to canada according to the 2011 census english was the first language of approximately 19 million canadians the rest of the population of uh, rest of the population of canada uses canadian french or other languages and it is a product of canadian english is a product of immigration and settlement in canada from other countries this variety is derived from american english the most commonly used canadian words are bus depot washroom main floor etc so these three words especially these three words bus depot washroom and main floor these three words we are commonly using now but these three words are the coinage from canadian english phonologically canadian and american english are classified together as north american english so this is the speciality of canadian english next thing we are moving to the next variety of english that is indian english public instruction began in india in the 1830s during the rule of east india in 1835 english replaced persian as the official language of the company lord macaulay played a major role in introducing english and western concepts to education in india he supported the replacement of persian by english as the official language the use of english as a medium of instruction in all schools and the training of english speaking indian as teachers english is the associate official language of india the state language of manipur meghalaya nagaland and tripura and the official language of eight union territories in the case of indian english vocabulary a good number of indian words are used in indian english for example chitti bengla jawan etc are the indian origin words used in english indian english words taken directly from sanskrit has a religious implications ananda ahimsa and yoga are the words used in uh, used from sanskrit this with these words have some sort of religious implications so these are the most common features we can see in indian english 
the case of Indian English pronunciation, Indian English is rhetoric. That means R is pronounced in all positions. So Indian English speakers usually don't care about the pronunciation of the rules of the pronunciation of R. So R is pronounced in all positions. Another important speciality is Indian English tend to be syllable timed, weak vowels being pronounced as full vowels in some words. So Indian English speakers usually pronounce, they don't care about this, uh, uh, care about the difference in weak vowels and strong vowels. They pronounce all vowels alike. Another important speciality is the distinction between the sound w and u is generally neutralized to u. So the Indian pronunciation of uh, the words with spelling v a n and w a t c h, Indian English speakers usually pronounce these two words as van and watch instead of van and watch. Another important speciality is mother tongue often influences the English pronunciation of Indians. So as you all know, India has India has different states and these different states have different regional languages. For example, Bengalis use B sound for W sound and Malayalis use B sound for P in some places. For example, uh, in Malayalis, they use uh, for the word temple, they use sometimes pronounced as temple. Okay, so this is the pronunciation difference of Indian English variety, Indian English uh, variety. So this is also usually following. And in the case of Ugandan English and Philippine English, Ugandan English or Uglish is the dialect of Uganda. It was a strong, it has a strong local flavor. Ugandan speakers will alter foreign words to make them sound more euphonic. In the case of Philippine English, it is a native language of Philippines. It is commonly used by the media and educated people of the country. It is some, some so similar and related to American English. So these are the various uh, varieties of English being discussed in this class. So here I am giving you an, a homework. Do this homework and send me back through WhatsApp. Thank you. Have a nice time. Keep learning.